Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you guys your daily journal message for Tuesday, October 15th, 2024. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in your own private reading, all that information as well as the Amazon links to my books are down below in the description box below. Let's get into it here. We're going to find out what we need to know for this Tuesday, October 15th, 2024. Somebody's trying to make a, a decision here to clear up a boo-boo. I literally heard boo-boo. I feel that they're very impulsive, meaning that they're going to be rushing in. They truly do love you here. Wondering whether or not there can be a new start, if you can forgive them here. Now, I am picking up a lot of third-party interaction with this, okay? does not have to be. It just could be guilt feeling as well for leaving, for ghosting, okay? Because you can see this with the uh, the world looking over at the fool. So that's a strong message. Not only are those two major arcanas, but it's literally saying things came to an end. Uh, and let's see if we can have a restart here. Okay. They're not overly sure. They are uh, sure whether or not you can take them back or not or want to. Uh, they're worried that you're going to instantly either not say, you know, not pick up the phone here or text, uh, or you text them back here in their mind. It's kind of like, well, it's just done anyway. They're never going to take me back, but I still feel they're going to try. Okay. Even with that third party interaction. Okay. Now this is kind of split energy. You know, not everybody's going to be the same. Obviously we all have free will, free choice. But it can work out. It can, if you're willing to put in the work, if you're willing to hear them out here, there can be a lot of happiness here. Now, I do feel for those of you who are in, uh, or your partner here is in a third party scenario, they are no longer in that third party, okay? Uh, they have a new beginning here. Uh, they were in a third party, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, with that Wheel of Fortune and the Fool here. But the third party is no longer, especially with that seven of swords in the world, okay? Uh, they're trying to, they kind of overthink here. They go back and forth what to do, what to do, because part of them wants to rush on in, and part of them think to themselves, well, they're not going to take me back, okay? With the two of swords and the hermit, as well as the eight of wands and the ten of wands, you know, I'm going to try but I'm not really confident if we can get back together again, if they will hear me out, meaning you. But I feel that they mean what they say. They truly do love you and, is, and are hopeful, a little bit hopeful anyway, to have a long-lasting relationship if given a chance with you here, okay? it's a, Basically, it's all in, the ball is in your court here. If you want to have this relationship or not, uh, it's all about forgiveness, and that's a big, big pill to swallow, especially with the third party, okay, uh, that they went to, I feel, with that Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Swords. Uh, but definitely for others, I feel that it can work out, and there can be good times, okay, and happy times and laughter. Uh, and I'm hearing this phone conversation going off in my head of saying jokes to each other and they are making you laugh kind of thing. Now, that's more so, uh, the laughter is more so regarding, um, you know, the people that are not involved in a third party here, your partner here, okay? Now, let's do the above and below. Wheel of Fortune fool. Uh, they messed up. They know it. Can we have a new start? Uh, for some, I feel that you're just going to slam the door. Okay. You won't even text them back. Nope. Nope. It's over kind of thing. Doesn't mean that they're not going to try. They're going to try to come back here, but I feel like somebody's like, nope, no, thank you. You know, uh, with the seven of swords and the world, two of swords and the hermit here, there are upcoming decisions made by both of you. I feel uh, you know, that you really have to think about, okay? But I feel they are the ones that are going to attempt this to come back, it, whether that's in a third party or not. Uh, but yeah, definitely. And they're hoping for the best, but they're a little, like, d does not have the, uh, they don't have the confidence here. They think that you're not going to let them in, and rightfully so, you know? 
especially when it comes to a third party. It's all about forgiveness here. So, uh, you know, can you forgive them, you know, and, and I get it, you know, it would be even, it would be tough for me, you know, to make that decision too. So the eight of wands here and the 10 of wands, but I do feel though that it can work out. They have to open up, they have to express how they feel. I feel that they were a little closed off for quite some time, but I do feel that their intentions are real, that they can see a future with you here if given the chance. The outcome, oh, sorry, with the te with the uh, King of Cups here, water sign energy, big time, does not have to be, but as well as that Knight of Cups. So with the outcome cards, like I said, with the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, I feel for those of you who aren't, uh, you know, um, worried or not making or making a decision to not want to go back into this relationship. Okay. I feel that it can work out. All right. It can balance out. And I do feel there's going to be laughter and tears of joy kind of energy here with those three cards. And that's what I have for whomever this is meant for. Thank you all for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Uh, don't forget to subscribe as well. Smashing that like button and helps out with my channel big time. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.